Hello YouTube, I'm Toby. Now as you may know a while ago I built this uh, Lenovo M90P uh, Think Center into a gaming PC and initially it worked fine but now I'm having uh, severe start startup issues with it. Now the issue I'm having is that even though I have the power connector uh, plugged in and I know it's plugged into a working outlet and I have the uh, switch set to on when I press the power button nothing happens there's absolutely no response from the system itself now I have tried to uh, remove the CMOS battery and uh, reset the jumper and exchange the RAM out trying out different slots and nothing has worked so far um, yeah so I guess what I'm gonna have to do now is disassemble this whole thing take it all apart and see what's wrong. I think it may be the power supply since if it was something else uh, the computer should at least start boot looping or something like that. But This really sucks. Yeah, this really sucks because I was getting ready to um, put it up for sale. I was just wanting to start it up, delete some of my own applications and uh, take a few pictures but yeah, as you can see, absolutely nothing. Alright, so what I've done now is that I've unplugged everything except for the CPU and the motherboard from the power supply. So let's try and push the button see if anything happens. Nothing. It's not turned on. And still nothing. Cool. So it could either be the CPU, the motherboard, or the... Uh, power supply could also still be the RAM uh, now next thing that I'm going to try is um, I've unplugged all the fans and everything from the oh, <laughs> I actually unplugged the uh, front panel connector as well let's just put that right in back in there alright so now the only things that are plugged into this motherboard it's the front panel connector, motherboard power, and CPU power. And we should be good to go. We got power. Let's try this out. Still nothing. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to take all the RAM out and just try them one at a time just to see maybe if that's the issue we're having. Okay, so I've tried all my RAM and all the slots and uh, nothing makes any difference. So the next stop, I'm going to try and take the uh, CPU out, see maybe if somehow that got damaged. Um, still, I think it may be the power supply because, like I said, nothing's happening. And it actually went from working like a dream to not working at all, um, from one power down to one power up, or lack thereof, actually. Now instead of starting out with taking the CPU out, I actually took the power supply out and I have a spare 550 watt over here that I know works. Or at least I knew that one worked as well. Well, anyway, that one's old. That one's brand new. So let's see if that fixes the issue. Alright, so we are ready to test again. We have the... Uh old Raptor XX 550 watt power supply in here we're set to 230 volts turn on the power supply and try the power button and absolutely nothing is happening so this means one of two things either the motherboard is dead <clears throat> or my power button is dead um, <laughs> I know which one I'm hoping for so where are we on this project? I actually tried the RAM sticks again, still no luck at turning the system on. I'm not sure if this power supply actually died. I don't think it did. I think something happened to the motherboard. And I think I owe you to explain what I was doing before I tried to boot up the system again. <clears throat> Down here is the CMOS battery. Um, at first when I got this system, this CPU fan worked fine, uh, there's no issues with it, but when I uh, upgraded it, this thing just started over ramping like, like crazy. You couldn't barely be in the room because it was just so loud. So what I was wanting to do was take the CMOS battery out, took it out, press the power button, put it back in, and that's when the system stopped responding. 
My biggest fear right now is that I may have, when I took the battery out, maybe the BIOS got the, <clears throat> well, got deleted. I don't know if that's something that happens. It's not something I've ever experienced before. But then again, this is a Lenovo OEM board, so it may be some kind of built-in security. And as you probably know, if you delete the BIOS, you're pretty much dead in the water. Um, I have no idea how to recover that, and I don't really think you can. But my next attempt is going to be taking the uh, power button off just to see if maybe that's somehow causing issues. All right, so I have taken the front panel off, exposed the little button right here. Reconnected the front panel header. I tried to short circuit it before to get it starting, but it didn't work. And nothing happens when I push the button, so it's probably not the button. It really, I really high, highly doubt this thing, which is randomly, uh, randomly break. So most likely it's the motherboard. It's probably my own doing for just disconnecting the CMOS battery when you're actually supposed to use the little jumper down here. Um, so this sucks. My next attempt at fixing this thing is pretty much just going to be taking the CPU out of the socket and reseating it just to see if maybe that uh, works. So here we go. See if I can even grab this thing. They're sort of delicate, these little things. And it doesn't really look like there are any bent pins or, well, anything down here. So let's hope a simple reseating is enough to at least see if this thing won't work. There we go. Alright, just got to put on some new thermal paste and the heatsink back on and we're ready to try again. Alright, so we're going to test the reseated CPU. Power supply is on and plugged in. I have the uh, motherboard connector, uh, power connector plugged in, the CPU power connector plugged in. The CPU fan header, uh, fan is also plugged in again and the front panel is plugged in. So let's try and turn the system on and nothing's happening of course so um, I think the only thing left is to try and test out one of these power supplies in uh, another system alright so this is our new setup we have the old well sorry the uh, brand new Intertech uh, 550 20 ish watt power supply we have it plugged into a ASUS motherboard with a Sempron 3850 in it. And all that's left to do now is turn this on and see if this starts up. And what do you know, everything starts up. So, I have a dead motherboard. So what does that mean? Well, it means that a system I was thought I was going to uh, make a little profit off of I am not going to make any profit of of uh, since the money I spend on the new board um, would break the budget so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this system I might just well see if I can find another board that fits in here and make something entirely different and hope to make something off of it um, now, if anyone out there knows anything about these uh, Lenovo OEM boards and know how I can fix this, uh, if it is a bias issue, um, I would very much like to know. But for right now, this computer is pretty dead, which is quite unfortunate because it was just about uh, ready to get sold. But I hope you at least enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.